is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Ride, ride, ride. There he is. How you doing, baby? I'm uh, game. Cam Ward with the heroics uh, at the end. But I'm glad that they got the call right because that would have been a terrible way to end the game. That just never really showed possession. Yeah, sh shades of the uh, Fiesta Bowl a bit for me, just with the crazy ending. Like, you know, one team celebrating like they won, then, you know, waiting and then finding out, no, they didn't win. And, and uh, just a lot of big emotions uh, at the end of that game for both teams. But credit to Virginia Tech. They played their asses off, and, and, you know, Miami didn't cover the spread, that's for sure. No, they didn't. That's our first loss of the year now. We're 4-1 yeah. and one here, uh, picking uh, Miami with the spread or points or whatever on the program, unfortunately. But you know what? Um, I can live with this because you know, in the last first couple of years with Manny, with Mario, he was like, Mistakes on the sidelines. It didn't look like they were coaching well or whatever. And mistakes on the field. Guys were playing hard. They didn't play the best. They made a couple of mistakes here and there. You know, I, I, it was one of those games where you didn't play your sharpest, but you still found a way to win. But it wasn't because of lack of effort or sloppiness or you didn't really care. It was they were playing all out and they were playing hard. It just they weren't sharp. Yeah, yeah, big couple momentum swinging plays. Obviously, the uh, holding penalty uh, on the left tackle on the uh, th what would have been the third touchdown negated that. A play later, Cam Ward gets picked, uh, and and Virginia Tech, you know, ends up taking the lead off of that. I thought that was a big momentum swing. Uh, you know, good teams find a way to survive those type of things and come back and win, and that's what Miami did. And that's the difference between this team and, and teams of the past. We've seen Miami teams blow a lead. Uh, and then come back and, and, and fight, but not really finish the job. Today they finished the job uh, because Cam Ward was the quarterback. He wouldn't let them lose. I mean, it was some of the plays that he made. So kudos to, uh, to Miami for finding a way to pull it out. That's the difference. Uh, uh, an older Miami team doesn't win this game. So that final drive where they scored and the, the fumble uh, to the running back. Uh, I mean, just all the crazy plays that happened in that yep. final drive for him. And then, obviously, to get it to Riley Williams. Yeah. Avoid that sack. I mean, that's that's the craziest of all right there. Uh, just <laughs> that, that, that's, and and Cam didn't have a great game. No. But you talk about the crazy pass. A couple of those interceptions were bad throws, actually, by right. him. Well, I, get, I gave the Virginia Tech DB a lot of credit on the first one. He, he baited him into that throw. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and Cam and Cam let go of that ball probably a half second too late uh, and ended up getting picked. But, yeah, the other pass, the fumble, I mean, he had three turnovers tonight. And, again, it just shows you how much Miami needs Cam Ward to be perfect to win a game. Yeah, no, and, and and how about the defense today? They they, uh, they struggled uh, today. They, yeah, a lot of missed tackles, a lot of missed tackles, a lot of areas where guys. But you know, oh, coming into this year, the one thing I said about Miami was I expected them to be in some high scoring affairs because I didn't have a lot of faith in the secondary. I thought the secondary, you know, that was the number one question coming into the year. Uh, you know, how will these guys t tackle in space? I think today Virginia Tech came in with a good game plan to spread out spread out Miami. They went four or five wide. They had the running back come in motion sometimes, get the ball, and they put you know gave him the toss sweep in motion so that he get kind of get up up into open space. And they just took advantage of uh, some poor tackling by Miami to, to get their offense rolling. And uh, kudos to them. I mean, look, Virginia Tech was a team that most people expected would be a competitor for the ACC title this year. Yes, they lost at Vanderbilt. Yes, they lost to Rutgers. Uh, but they were in those games. It wasn't like they were blown out. It wasn't like they were, uh, you know, run off the field by by those teams. So they're two and three. But I think certainly they they have a good enough quarterback and a good enough running back that, you know, a night like tonight they could put a scare into Miami. Yeah. No. How about the offensive line, dude? They um, or or the running team early on, and you can tell when they came out in the second half. Mario said they've got to get back to running the ball. But Virginia Tech, that's one thing that they were able to do early on in the game. They got Miami completely off their game when it came to running in that first half. Yeah, I mean, look, Miami, uh, they haven't run the ball well all season. I know that they're averaging 200 yards a game and blah, 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 and they have all the stats. But offensively, Miami has yet to really 
you know, just say, hey, we're going to run the ball down your throats. And, and I think, you know, when Cam Ward threw his second uh, interception uh, of the game, the one that was in the red zone that was trying to get to Restrepo, that's the result of not being able to run the football the way you want to run it. You're forcing your quarterback into second and third and long, and he's having to make great throws every single time. And I think, you know, that's an Achilles heel right now of this team. They can't run the football with will, right? It, it's kind of like they've run the ball, they've padded their stats late in games, uh, but it's, it, it, it just hasn't been as good as you, you thought it would be. And I think certainly, again, to flip it back to the defense, I think the secondary, that was something that I was expecting to see, and we finally saw it tonight. By the way, we've gone from a team that didn't use the tight end for the last couple of years to having like yeah. 78 different tight ends make plays now. Yep, yep. And, and again, that's kudos to uh, their coordinator, Shannon Dawson. He, he, he got a lot of heat last year for not using the tight end. Uh, now that he's got Cam Ward at quarterback and he's got some other guys that can make plays like Riley Williams and uh, you know, Cam McCormick, he kind of brings him in there as a secret weapon when teams aren't expecting him to get the ball. Uh, you know, good good utilization of, of the tight ends. That's kudos for that. But, uh, you know, Miami's very fortunate right now to be a 5-0. There's no question. Hey, by the way, don't 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 shit on Rutgers. They're 4-0. They just beat Washington tonight. So That's right. That's right. And Vanderbilt pushed, uh, Vanderbilt pushed uh, Missouri really, really hard. So, you know, good team as well. Yeah, so maybe that's why Vautech struggled. But obviously, but this is good also for Miami. This is a nice wake-up call to start the ACC. Maybe you were reading your press clippings a little bit, you know, with your 4-0 record and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Good to be talking about this game from a winning perspective, right? You would, If you would have lost the game, uh, you know, at the end there or, or, or in worst scenario, you'd, you'd really be feeling crappy right now. But... Now you can feel crappy and still be 5-0. and So, Mario Cristobal, it's a victory for him, for sure. All right, final thing. What's the deal on the injuries? Any Anything you know on, on injuries from this game? Yeah, I know Simeon Barrow didn't come back. I know Tyler Barron was back in the game. Francis Maui Noah looked like he just uh, kind of was cramping up. A lot of guys were cramping up today. Oh, I, Mario said after the game there's five to six guys who got dinged up. I know Jaden Harris, the starting safety, was one of them. So, you know, look, injuries are part of the game, man. You got to have depth, and that's that's what's going to get tested now. A lot of young guys played tonight for Miami. Uh, again, uh, you saw first and second year guys, freshmen in there as well. So uh, you, you got to rely on that depth to survive a long season. All right, my brother. Follow him on Twitter and Manny underscore Navarro. And make sure you subscribe to The Athletic. And, of course, go to Canesware. Use our code BIG010. You'll get 10% off at Canesware.com. They've got anything and everything practically with a Canes logo on it. Manny, have a great night, my brother. Appreciate you. You, you too, brother. Take care. Uh, you got it. That is our Canes Wear Miami Hurricanes report. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show!